Hey there, welcome to Violet's DIY Style. I'm Violet. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome, and I hope you consider subscribing. So today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how I made these two adorable Christmas decor pieces. So the first one, you can use either cardboard like I am, or some poster board. And all you're going to do is basically make um, two homes. And one I made for 18 inches in height and the other one I made at 12 inches in height. And both of mine were 12 inches in width. And I'll make sure to leave all that information down below. Once I was done making both of these homes, I made a shape of an arrow as well. And this is what I'm going to use to make my cathedral. Now I was inspired by um, something I saw at a restaurant called C Crackle Barrel. I'm sure a lot of you might know where what Crackle Barrel is, but if you don't, it's basically a restaurant that has um, a lot of farmhouse decor pieces um, as they decorate their restaurant as well as they sell there at their store. So I was inspired again by something I saw there that of course was made out of real wood, but I wanted to share with you how you can make it uh, using some cardboard or again poster board. Um, but I am thinking of making one with real wood because I want to place one outside of my home. So if you're interested in how I do make my real wood one, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to make a quick tutorial or add it to my next tutorial of how I made the same cathedral using real wood. So what I did after I traced all my homes and all my shapes out, I just used my box cutter to cut everything out. You can use a box cutter like I did or some scissors. So once I was done cutting all my cardboard pieces, I decided to go ahead and get some contact paper and add um, some contact paper onto my cardboard pieces just to make it look more like real wood. And here I am also shape, uh, cutting out a shape of my windows that I'm going to use later on down my um, tutorial. So here I am just getting my contact paper again that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to trace everything out roughly about a half an inch or an inch larger than my actual shape itself so I can um, have that extra leeway to add it on to each one of my cardboard pieces. So before I do use any contact paper, especially the one from Dollar Tree, I do add some spray adhesive to my piece in order to make sure that my contact paper stays in place and it doesn't... Um, fall off or move after I'm done adding it to my paper or my piece. So here I am again just adding all the contact to each one of my each um, individual pieces of cardboard. So once I was done, just go ahead and smooth everything out. Make sure there's no air pockets on your contact. Then you can glue everything together. And I'm just using my hot glue gun. And here I am just adding one home to the other one, stacking the points together, making sure it's all nice and even. Then I'm going to add that arrow part to the top, and that's going to be my cathedral. Now you can make this as elaborate as you like or as simple as you like. I wanted to share with you a cathedral that was quite simple just to see, uh, show you how easy this was to make. So once I was done, I wanted it to look more like the real faux wood type style. I didn't want it to have that shiny look as the contact paper had, so I sanded everything down. Next, I decided to go ahead and grab some white paint. And this one, I believe, is off-white color. Um, but any color would work that you want your cathedral to be. And just dry paint everything onto your um, cathedral. But I do recommend you trace everything out first. And then whatever is left on your paintbrush, brush that onto your uh, piece. And that just gives that outline look of your um, piece. In my case, my cathedral. So once you're done adding all your paint onto your piece, go ahead and grab a sanding piece of paper or a sand block like I do and just sand everything lightly down just to give it more of that farmhouse look. So once I was done with that, I decided to add some thumbtacks as nails on each point of my um, cathedral just so I can add some reefs later on down. So here I am just adding my... Uh, thumbtacks and now I'm going to go ahead and trace out a door and some windows onto my cathedral and you can make these any shape you like again you can make them as elaborate as you like as well so once you're done tracing all your windows out and your door 
just go ahead and paint into your windows and on your door depending on what color you want to use i'm going to paint my door for my um, cathedral red just to give it more of that farmhouse look <clears throat> And what I did was I made a mixture of some gold paint that I had on hand and some um, apple barrel khaki color paint, mix it together in order to uh, paint into my windows just to give it more of that shimmery look of a window. Next, I decided to go ahead and add another window, but a round one on the top part of my cathedral. So again, you can go as elaborate as you like. Um, you can cut out your windows if you don't want to paint them. You can um, just leave it as is and not even add windows. It's completely up to you. Um, I'm just showing you the way I made mine for my, live, my dining room as the farmhouse decor that I do have in there. So here I am just adding more details to my door by adding um, the opening and some little handles with my black paint. Then I decided to go ahead and do the same thing with my windows just to give it more um, details. And I'm adding some black paint kind of like a cross um, right in the center of each one of my windows. Like to mimic the wood that typical cathedral farmhouse style windows have. Then I decided to go ahead and outline everything again with the same white paint just to give it more of that um, detail and for them to stand out more. So once I was done adding all that paint around each one of my windows and door, I made sure everything was nice and dry. Then I grabbed my sanding block again and sanded everything down. And this is the way it looks. So to make my wreaths for my cathedral, all I did was grab some of these um, garland twist ties that you can get at Dollar Tree and uh, some of these wired berries that you can get at Dollar Tree as well. And I just used little extra pieces that I had, wrapped them around to make small wreaths. And I'm using some jute twine to uh, tie a knot on the top in order for me to hang on to each one of my thumbtacks. Now you can leave it as is. I decided to go ahead and add a red bow onto each one of my wreaths just to give it more of that detail as well. So this uh, cathedral was really easy to make. And like I said, I am uh, thinking about making one out of wood, a little bit more um, larger and with more details. So if you're interested in seeing a tutorial on that, let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to make one for you. And here, this is perfect, not just for Christmas, but you can leave it out all year round and just change up the wreaths or leave them um, without wreaths. It, it would look beautiful either way. And I think it'd look gorgeous in a farmhouse style home all year round. So for our next tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some extra pieces of wood shims that I had left over from another project. And I, I am using 10 for this project. So what I did was I glued two together and then I'm going to start stacking or gluing the shims going upwards about an inch to a half an inch um, in space in order for me to continue making my Christmas tree. So the first two that I did glue together is going to be the stem of my or the trunk of my tree. Then again, I'm just going to start stacking all the shims up going upwards with the thicker side of the shim towards the bottom. and just about an inch or so um, go upwards to make that tree to form it. So both of these tutorials that I shared with you today are quite simple and basically you can use um, just things that you have around the home, maybe some extra supplies that you may have as well. So in total, I used 10 of these shims and then when I was done adding all of them together, it formed a Christmas tree. So I decided to use some of these building blocks from Dollar Tree that I had extra too, and I just made a stand by gluing them side by side on either end of my Christmas tree, and I just stacked two on either side to give it more weight in order for it to stay in place. 
Now you can decorate and paint your tree any way you like, as elaborate as you like. I just um, went with some white paint and just dry brushed it onto my tree. That way you could still see that wood um, seep through on my tree. And there you have it, an adorable farmhouse Christmas tree that I think will be perfect um, to add to any area in your home. So I hope you enjoyed both of these tutorials. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.